Broadsword calling Danny Boy. It is the smallest, and it's extreme in several respects. It's made out of the densest material. It's a very unusual uh, relationship between its spin rate and its orbital period. It's uh, closest to the sun and interacts most strongly with changes in solar activity. So Mercury tests all of our ideas for how Earth-like planets form and evolve. Uh, because it is extreme, it really pushes the level of our understanding. Once we're in orbit, we've got a very complicated scenario of observations that have all been pre-programmed to address all of the questions that the mission has set out to answer. Uh, we're looking at the composition of the planet and we'll be watching the equivalent of, of atmospheric weather and we'll, we'll be watching Mercury's magnetosphere which is the envelope of space uh, that surrounds the planet that contains the planetary magnetic, uh, magnetic field but that is also the boundary between uh, the influence of the sun and the interplanetary medium and the influence of the planet and that boundary gives rise to, to waves, to uh, transfer of magnetic energy to this very rapid dynamic phenomena that involve uh, processes with which we are familiar at Earth, but at Mercury happened much faster and at much higher magnitude. When Mariner 10 viewed Mercury for the first time, it of course made some great discoveries, but it raised a host of questions, questions that, that we've waited now 35 years to answer with the Messenger mission. When we go into orbit for the first time for any spacecraft, we'll be collecting global data on the surface, on the interior, on the atmosphere, on the magnetosphere, but we're not going to answer all the questions. We're going to raise new ones. And so there's going to be ample opportunity for follow-on missions. We started the MESSENGER mission as a concept, as a proposal to NASA 15 years ago. It was approved for launch 12 years ago. We launched six and a half years ago, and the whole goal of the mission was to get into orbit and to make observations from orbit. So we have been building for this orbit insertion and for the observations that will follow for a decade and a half. To say that the science team is excited about what will come is a huge understatement. NASA's MESSENGER spacecraft has crashed into the surface of Mercury as planned after running out of fuel. It spent four years orbiting the planet, detecting frozen water-covered poles and volcanic deposits. MESSENGER was completely destroyed in the crash, not really surprising given it hit the surface at more than 8,000 miles an hour. Our science correspondent Palap Ghosh reports. The planet Mercury, dwarfed by the Sun. It's the smallest planet in our solar system, and for years it was thought to be a featureless rock, but not anymore. Just take a look at these pictures. The different colours show various chemicals. On the ground there are craggy features and possibly traces of carbon compounds from which life might have been made were it not for the planet's scorching temperatures. And this image shows the chemical seemingly dancing above its surface. Best of all the first map of its entire surface. The pictures were taken by NASA's MESSENGER spacecraft its mission has transformed our view of Mercury. There were theories about what, how this had formed. We got there, we measured the chemistry of the surface and all of those theories were wrong. So um, that's not just understanding how Mercury formed, but how did the Earth form? How did Mars form? How did all the planets form? This is the last picture MESSENGER sent back. It ended its mission with a bang last night, crashing into Mercury at 8,000 miles an hour. And there's going to be another mission to Mercury launched in two years' time to learn more. It's raised questions that we can we can put to the next mission. So Bepi Colombo, which launches in, in a few years' time, is a European and Japanese mission that's going to go there, get there in about a decade's time, and see, A, has Mercury changed in a decade? Only on small scales, tiny impact craters and so on. And maybe answer some of the questions that messengers raised. What many thought to be the dullest planet in our solar system has turned out to be much more interesting and mysterious than astronomers had imagined. Palab Ghosh, BBC News. When I first heard that it had crashed, I thought, oh my goodness, this is a disaster, but it's what you'd planned all along. Yes, we did not bring enough fuel to have any other possible outcome. 
And why crash it, though, on the surface of Mercury? We had no choice. We had to follow the laws of physics. It couldn't have just spun off into no. space? No, and the, the issue was that we had to be in a very uh, uh, elliptical orbit, where we flew very close over one side of the planet and very far out the other way for various reasons, mostly to do with keeping our spacecraft cool. And because of this, it was not a very stable orbit, and gradually the gravity of the sun pulled us in closer and closer to the planet. And for most, most of the mission, we, had, and our, we were able to fire our engines periodically and just boost ourselves up a little bit more. Oh, are you a little bit sad that Messenger I, is gone? I'm very sad that Messenger is gone. This is, it's been a wonderful little robot, uh, bring, sending back enormous amounts of really exciting data. It's been just worked spectacularly successfully, and it's been going nonstop for four years around the planet, and now all of a sudden, no more data. Okay, so. what's the most exciting thing, the most perhaps unexpected thing that you learned from what Messenger sent back? Probably the most unexpected thing was that Mercury has high abundances of certain chemical elements that we call volatile elements, and these are elements that evaporate at moderate temperatures, and a lot of the ideas about how Mercury formed before the Messenger mission made predictions that these elements should be gone from Mercury. And what we found is there are just as high abundances on Mercury as they are on the other planets that are much farther from the Sun. And in layman terms, for a non-physicist mm -hmm. like myself, that means what? It means that the ideas people had for how Mercury formed were wrong. And it means we still don't understand how Mercury formed. But a lot of the original ideas had involved very, very high temperatures for the formation of Mercury. And now we can say that whatever process happened to explain the various properties of Mercury and how it formed did not uh, involve such high temperatures for such long times that it removed all of these elements. Are there going to be more messengers? Uh, there is a mission called Bepi Colombo, which is a joint mission of the European Space Agency and the Japanese Space Agency uh, that is supposed to launch in 2017. Uh, and we'll go to Mercury and have two orbiters flying around the planet and follow up on a lot of what we did and hopefully make a lot of new discoveries. And I hope that you'll be watching that one. Mercury, our solar system's smallest planet, revealed in stunning detail by the Messenger spacecraft. But these are some of the last images like this that we'll ever see. The mission has come to an explosive end. Messenger has been obliterated, smashed to smithereens on the surface of the planet it orbited for four years. Scientists always knew this was a one-way trip. There's only so much fuel you can take on an eight billion mile journey. But this little craft sent back a treasure trove of information. Main engine start, two, one, and zero, and lift off of Messenger. Messenger blasted off in 2004. It arrived at Mercury six years later and changed what we know about this mysterious world. It mapped the planet with unprecedented accuracy, and it discovered billions of tons of ice hiding in craters away from the sun's rays. Even in its final minutes, Messenger kept on working. Hurtling towards the planet at more than two miles per second, it was still taking measurements and pictures. But because the data could not be sent back in time, its final 1,000 pictures of Mercury will never be seen. Jonathan Webb, BBC News.